What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. Uh, as you can already tell, obviously by the title and from where you're seeing me right now, we got a bloody tow vehicle. So we've finally got ourselves a tow rig so we can haul clickbait wherever we need to go. We don't need to rely on Ben, we don't need to rely on Tim anymore. We've got our own bloody tow rig. So this is super freaking exciting. Um, and it's also got an awesome spot to uh, mount the GoPro. So I'm gonna go freaking pull over. We're gonna go over this thing real quick and I'm gonna get some sick shots of it. So without further ado, this is the Picnic Tow Rig. This bad boy just here is our new 2012 Triton. So obviously not brand new, but new to us. And uh, a good mate, Troy Newman from uh, Reflection Detailing, hooked us up with a mad deal to really let us be able to uh, make this possible. So massive shout out to him and huge thanks to him. You guys will see plenty of him in the future when he de details the wagon ahead of events. Um, but without him, wouldn't have been able to make this possible, which is absolutely insane because now we actually have a tow rig. So we don't, we're not gonna be freaking held up or caught trying to get to events or always relying on other people. I'm so sick of always having to rely on other people for my benefit kind of thing. So now, thanks to this bad boy, we can get to any freaking event that we want to, theory, uh, theoretically. But this thing is an absolute ripper. It's so sick. It's already got like spotlights, light bar, it's got aftermarket wheels, like, I don't want to prioritize spending all my money on a tow rig and then continuously spending money on it to make it my own. Um, whereas like the way that it's everything is done to it now is exactly what I'd want to do to it anyways kind of thing. So it's already got tinted windows. We're about to put the head unit in the front, the, literally the one that came out of the wagon, which is a sick one, um, which is freaking awesome. So it's got everything that I could ever want, everything I could ever need. It tows three ton, which is more than enough because the wagon is a fat girl at two ton. Um, and it is just everything that we freaking need. So this thing is an absolute ripper. Um, so I'm gonna cruise around this thing and show you guys, and then yeah, we're gonna get into our first mod for it, which is gonna be probably one of the only ones we do, and it's gonna be doing this head unit. Now, I don't know how well the lighting is in here, um, because it is getting quite dark in here because of the tint, but the best thing about this freaking rig, not only is it diesel, but it's got like a long range tank, so we can get to a lot of events on one tank, not having to worry about stopping and filling up while we got a trailer on the back. So many awesome things about this. This is like beyond what we could have expected for our first tow rig. So like I said before, we're very lucky, very freaking lucky. I'm very thankful because like always without you guys, we wouldn't be in this position to have this freaking sick tow rig. Now I already know a lot of guys out there are probably gonna be like kicking and screaming, but oh, you shouldn't have gotten a Triton, you should have gotten a Ranger, or you should have gotten a freaking Hilux or something. I really don't know much about Forbies. I don't know much about these big rigs. And to me personally, I don't really like care too much to look into them. Like it's not a massive thing to me personally. Burnouts are massive to me personally. That's where all of my mind goes. That's where all of my like, all of, all of my thoughts and everything go towards that. This just needs to get the job done. That's it. Um, so I know everyone's always got their preferences and I know that in the four-wheel drive scene like it is massive the way that people like follow like cult followings on the brands what they think is shit what they think fails what they don't like what they do like This isn't a forum or a place to be talking about that. This is a place to be like woo, picnic tow rig get clickbait to events That's the main part Because this was a massive goal of mine to have a tow rig by the end of this year or at least in this year at some point and it is only May and we have somehow freaking managed to uh, to pull this together to get a tow rig so that's another major thing ticked off the list another major part of this journey and like I was saying can't I can't couldn't have done it without you guys like and like the two massive things that I wanted for the wag like for for the channel and for picnic in 2020 sorry 2021 still getting used to that even though we're almost halfway through the year um, massive thing for me is was uh, to not only get a tow rig but to tub the wagon too 
So those are two massive things that I thought were gonna be pretty far out of reach and we weren't actually gonna be able to get them done or achieve those. So it is absolutely insane that we were, we are, we were able to achieve one of those already. And like, people always say when I have these like ideas, like sure the people closest to me support me and say like, say that it's absolutely plausible, it's, it's easy to do, we'll get it done, we'll figure out a way. But a lot of people always say like, mate, you're dreaming. You have any idea how expensive that is? You know, like you're not gonna be able to do this, you're not gonna be able to do that. And the only thing I can say is like, if I told you like, so many people said that this year I wanted a tow rig. And they're like, oh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to do it in a year's worth of time. Like that's too short a time, you're not gonna be able to do it. The thing I say to them is imagine if I came to you this time last year saying, I want my wagon to be blown, mechanically injected, methanol burn and massive burnout rig with a huge carbon fiber inject. You would have laughed at me. They would have laughed at me. They would have said that it was impossible. And we didn't actually decide that we were gonna do that until like July. It took us six months, half a year, to build a burnout car. So, and that was my dream car that I thought would take me like my entire life to build. I thought that I wouldn't have a car like that until my 40s, 40s or 50s, when like I'd settled down and had a job that could afford it and everything. But because of this awesome platform, we somehow made it happen in six months. So for it to be able, for, for that to be able to, to happen and like for us to achieve that, um, it shows that literally the sky is the limit. Um, and, and look at that, in like a short couple months we now have a tow rig too, so hopefully, hopefully the wagon can be tubbed for, uh, for some of that. That's like the next biggest goal really, so it's freaking awesome that we were able to kick this goal because, like I said, this is a huge one. Alright, I think it's, uh, I think it's time while I'm out here driving around. I think I'm gonna get a quick bite to eat. Hi, welcome to KFC, what can I get for you? Hey, can I, uh, okay. thank you. Now, I used to be a man that would always get a Zinger box, and yes, I would always change the Wicked Wings for a popcorn chicken, because I like popcorn chicken better. But then I realized that you can only upgrade to like a tiny popcorn chicken if you're getting it in a box. So instead, I just get a combo, and then just get a popcorn chicken with it. Best way to do it, best way to do it hands down. Alrighty. Anyways, we're getting off. We're getting off, like sidetracked, getting off topic. I'll meet you guys back when we're at home. Should we just break it? Because I think it wants us to take this off. Mm. Just look at those. Yeah, it wants us. Just break. You can just. Should be fine. It's fine. It's fine. You sound like Ross from Friends. I'm fine! I don't know why it's coming out all loud and squeaky, because really, I'm fine. Yeah, but I thought you were just going to get, like, you see that little plastic in there. Yeah, but I that's just gonna get my obviously moulded to it. Oh. Unnecessary amount of screws. But I probably won't use all of them again. Way too many screws to hold in a head unit. Alright, so how do these... You laughing at me? I was laughing at how you opened that. Because you know that award some people get when they die in really dumb ways? I feel like you might win one of those one day. What do you mean? Like, get squashed by a vending machine from shaking it or something like that. Because um, I doubt it's going to have a plug for that. This might be a really dumb question, but is it like reverse sensors or anything like that? Or... Shouldn't be, like, oh, we have the wrong one. What? Yeah, that's the wrong one. But it said it was... Oh, no, I'm missing... No, this should be to Mitsubishi. Yeah, they've given us the wrong one. Awesome. Unless they've rewired it, but I highly doubt they have. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll get back to this when we have the right freaking one. So it turned out that like, out of all freaking things, it was a Holden Rodeo ISO, which is really annoying because I spent ages looking and gave me the wrong one. But uh, yeah, now that's in. Don't know what that one does, but now, yeah, that works. So you should be able to just slide it off. Oh, that's why the radio wasn't working, gotta connect. Uh, you're supposed to connect that one to the handbrake, 
but I'll try and just ground it out because um, that's what lets you guys into the, go into the settings and do certain things that it doesn't want to let you do while the car's driving. Um, all right, I'm going to fiddle around with the rest of this stuff. Alrighty, so now that we've got all this back together and good to go, the main reason I always want to do this stuff is mainly so that I have CarPlay. So I'll just pause that. So the best thing about it is obviously like, not only does it look really good and it makes the entire like inside of the car look good. Um, I have a massive thing about making sure you like the interior and dash looks good in a car because this is where you spend 90% of your time. So if you don't like it or if you don't take care of it, then it's just, it's shit. Like I prioritize how good, how good the dash and interior looks in a car. So this, this definitely makes it look nice and really updates it. And then like, so your phone's always charging and then you've got things like you've got your maps and everything so that you're always like, it's always up to date and everything when you're in the car. Um, all of your, like your phones and everything. Good thing no numbers popped up there. Um, but yeah, super clutch and I've always loved these things. Um, and like I said before, this is the exact same head unit that I had out of the old wagon. So this thing is an absolute ripper and I love it to bits. I don't know why I keep calling everything a ripper, but it's probably gonna stay, so get used to it. Sorry, camera died, but that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Um, it is freaking super exciting. Yes, we do have a tow vehicle finally, so bring on Brash Nats. We are so freaking excited for Brash Nats. Um, you guys need to make sure you're going to get there. It's going to be the biggest event, like literally in the last year and a half since Summer Nats last year. It's going to be the biggest burnout event. There are so many big names coming. There are so many people flying in for it, traveling from all over Australia for it. The event is going to be huge. Do not miss it. It's on Sunday, the Queen's long, the Queen's birthday long weekend in June, Sunday the 13th. It is going to be huge. Do not miss it. Alrighty, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap up today's one. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace. Okay, I'm back.